Hi guys, Unboxing Tech here with the latest Galaxy Z Fold 6 and all these cases that go with it that I'll be reviewing in this video. Let's get started! First is the Rinke Fusion. Rinke is a household favorite for me and I'm so stoked they brought out the Fusion case for the Galaxy Fold devices. The Fusion is a hybrid case made of polycarbonate and TPU. Before we put this on, make sure to take off all the plastic film over the case. There is a single black non-slip adhesive near the hinge here. Overall, this is a very lightweight case at 32 grams. And it's a single piece case with a very subtle TPU connector at the edges here. Installation is simple enough by just sliding in the back like so. Then bringing the front case around to finish. It feels and looks great. This is a minimalistic clear case that shows off your device as it is. All the cutouts on this case are accurately centered, and there aren't any gaps between the front and back parts of the device, giving it an altogether seamless fit. I do like that the buttons are covered up for extra protection, and they're nice and clicky as well. But the power button is left open, so you can use the fingerprint reader. The hinge is also left open, which might be a deal breaker for some, but I don't mind. The overall levels of protection this case brings is more than satisfactory with the lifted front edges, even with a screen protector on. The walls around the back camera are also super high up, and this is with a camera lens cover. Aside from the standard clear, the Fusion also comes in a MagSafe version, which allows you to use MagSafe chargers and accessories with it. At the time of recording, the Rinke Fusion was $20.99, and the MagSafe version was $24.99, which is pretty reasonable for its quality. Next, we have the Spigen Slim Armor Pro. The box is a little beat up. The Spigen Slim Armor Pro comes with the case, a set of instructions, and extra adhesives in the box. This is a two-piece case made up of hard polycarbonate materials all around. It does weigh on the heavier side at 48 grams, but for a hinge case, that's pretty good. To install, make sure to peel off the films over the adhesives, and then just snap it on, like so. It might require a bit more finessing than just snapping it on. Repeat for the front case. And here's how it looks. Design-wise, it's pretty simple. The cutouts are accurately centered, and the center line is cleanly pushed together for a seamless look. The buttons are all left open, so you should just get the natural feel of them. Of course, the main draw of this case would be the covered hinge for full coverage protection. The front case also has a lifted edge, but the back camera edges were lower than expected as the camera lens cover extended beyond the case itself. Another point is this little foot that's on the bottom left corner. This feature prevents the device from wobbling if that's a huge concern to you. The hinge works by sliding over the front screen when the device is opened. And then it automatically goes back over the hinge when the device is closed. Now, the Speak and Slim Armor Pro is priced at $69.99, which is quite high. I can't say if it's worth that price, to be honest. Moving on is the Folu Clear Case. Inside the box is the case itself and a little packet of installation tools. Inside, it consists of cleaning supplies for the device, so we'll go ahead and do that to make sure we get the cleanest looking phone.
The Volo Clear Case is a two-piece case, and its unique feature is that it does come with a cover for the front screen pre-built into the case. It is made of solely polycarbonate, so it has an all-around very hard, durable feel to it. It weighs around 37 grams, which is to be expected with a screen protector. Installation is quick and simple. All you need to do is snap the case on. Make sure to remove any screen protectors to put on this case, as Folu will provide their own. Make sure you're aligning the front case on correctly first, and then just slide it on like so. Feels pretty solid. I do feel like the alignment for the bottom speaker is not centered correctly. It won't break the phone, but it's quite noticeable and I did double check to make sure I had the case on correctly, but the problem didn't remedy itself. But the seam in between is beautifully closed. The buttons are in open style, so you're guaranteed a good button touch feel and fingerprint response. Again, the cutouts on the top are also a little off-center. I thought it might be just an optical illusion, but it's definitely not aligned correctly. The hinge is also left open, but the protection level is still pretty high thanks to the built-in screen protector and the lifted edges. The built-in screen protector didn't have any touch response issues from the simple test that I ran. Everything was instant and accurate. And again, I noticed the back camera edges were slightly shorter than the camera lens covers that I had on. Just be mindful of that. And it's a little hard to see on camera, but there was this weird oily look on the back of the case. I don't know if it was a defect of this particular case or it's just a product issue for Folu in general. It did make the case look kind of dirty. The Folu Clear case is priced at $12.99, so it is very cheap, but you're getting what you paid for. So if you want a clear case, I recommend just going with Rinky. Lastly, we have the Ruki full body cover. In the box, you get an instructional sheet some extra adhesives, and the two cases. This case also comes with a built-in screen protector. In terms of weight, it is the heaviest at 50 grams. It does go on easily, and design-wise, it's a very minimalistic case. At first glance, I thought the alignment was a little off, but it's definitely just a shadow. The cutouts are nicely centered in reality. The center seam does appear to be fully flushed until we get to this part. I don't know why it's gapping like that. It's incredibly concerning. And when I checked my phone by itself, there wasn't any issues that I could discern. Aside from that, the buttons are fully open for maximum accuracy, though less protection. And while the bottom cutouts were fine, the top cutouts definitely had some issues that were glaringly noticeable. In terms of protection, we do have the built-in screen protector, so that's a plus. The surrounding edges are also lifted pretty high. But again, the back camera edges are definitely losing to my camera lens covers. That's strike three for these camera lens covers. Ugh. The hinge is also open, by the way. The Rookie Full Body Cover is currently priced at $15.99 on Amazon, which is an okay price for a moderate quality case if you can't go any higher. This gap may be just the defect of this case, but I don't know. And those are all the cases I have for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. I hope this video helped you out in some way in finding your perfect case. All the cases are linked in the description box below, so check them out!
Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for sticking around until the end. I'll see you guys next time.